to our first day in Istanbul. We um, actually woke up at 5.30 this morning because we went to bed last night at 7.30. So we were well rested. Still tired though. We went out and had um, accidentally an expensive breakfast. But it was like unlimited buffet, so it's not too bad. It was $25 Australian for both of us. Yeah, kinda, I think we kind of got ripped off, but at the same time, I had more vegetables in that meal than I had the whole time I was in Japan, so yeah. it was good. Anyway, so we'll try and um, find cheaper places for the rest of the day. Um, but we've just wandered around. All the streets are really beautiful. They like have a very European vibe. But we're just sitting on the uh, Rainbow Steps, which is famous because um, an old man retired and decided he would paint this huge staircase rainbow colours and there was no reason behind it. He just did it to make people smile, um, which is a really nice story. The government actually came and painted the stairs back to grey and um, everyone got, oh, thank you, angry about it. So um, they painted the stairs back to rainbow. So it's quite nice. Mm, it's not very busy either. Like, mm. probably seen five people in the last half hour. Yeah, and it's like 11 o'clock. Yeah, it's pretty good. 11.30. But we're not, we don't really have any plans today. It's a change of pace. So we're just sort of wandering around, having a look around and trying to get our bearings for where we are in relation to where everything we want to see is. And then, yeah. yeah. It's just a explore day, really. Mm. Yeah, let's keep ripping into it. Bye. down to this bridge and there's Brady filming or taking photos and all these people here are fishing and we can see five moths across here one two three four and a big one right there it's five can't really see it if that's a blue mosque, we don't know, one of these five must be. That's not explain that um, Istanbul is the only city in the world that's split into two continents. So half of it's on Asia, the other half is on Europe. And uh, we're staying on the European side. You can catch a ferry to the Asian side. That over there is the Asian side of Istanbul. All these ferries must take you there. There's a cruise ship. We're heading this way. I don't really pay to go to the top of towers, but like that. Very much to get to that tower. To to. We stumbled upon these boats. So what happened is they cook on the gold boat and then they pass the food out to their customers. They're all lined up here. So cool. <laughs> So we were, we were just talking about what we're seeing, obviously, and uh, our first impressions. Yeah, like they're doing their call to prayer now. Um, yeah, we we're just saying it's interesting because, like, obviously, I've never been to Europe, but Caitlin has. Um, Not much of it, though. Yeah, but she's walking around going, "Oh my God, you know this." so much like Europe. Yeah. Whereas to me, like, it kind of looks like, I don't know, Melbourne with, like, I don't know, a bit of, like, I obviously would agree that it looks like Europe, but I've never been. I've only seen pictures and videos and stuff, so, yeah, it looks like Europe, but I've never experienced it. The experience for me is kind of like a lot of good food, a lot of coffee, so it's like Melbourne. But then there's third world parts too, so it's kind of like a sprinkle of barley over the top, like a bit of salt and pepper, like just here's a bit of barley. That's my two cents on the matter. Yeah, I get like San Francisco vibes as well, like with the buildings, the houses, 
Um, it's just such an interesting city. You've got like bits of bits of every culture. I feel like mm. it's so cool. A lot of history here. We just walked across the um, one of the bridges where they're all fishing off it, which is really cool. Yeah, we're at the dock now where the ferries leave for the Asian side. We're trying to decide if we want to go over there today or, or not. Nah. There's lots of like food stands like with corn and um, crepes and stuff. Maybe we'll have something to eat. Talk soon. Ciao for now. Welcome to Turkey. <laughs> this is Kemet. Well, the, the area is Kemet. I don't think it's a street. It's in Balat. It's in Balat. Two reasons we're here. Well, three really. We come, we're actually on the other side of Istanbul. So this is what, the Fatih side? Or I don't know if it's Fatih, but F-A-T-I-H. And um, to get here was like nearly 4K walk for us, but I don't know, we're just smashing out the cave. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so we come over here for four very specific things. Number one, this street. Cool street, lots of symmetry, pay off at the end. That's what we're here for. Number two is all the cool little cafes down there that Kate wants to check out. Number three is the sunset over at one of the mosques. The name escapes me. <laughs> Sali, yeah, Sali, name. Saliman, or I'll just put it here. And then number four, because we're in goddamn Turkey. It's a good reason. It's just the best, having a great goddamn time. Even with all the walking. Like, hold this. It's three o'clock and we've done 10,500 steps. So okay. even just to go home, it's a 20,000 step day. We're opting not to use public transport here, surprisingly. Yeah, we have a card. Uh, these two, it's like the Suica cards in Japan, but it's obviously for here. And but we just have not used it. Just haven't used it. I'd rather walk. I'd rather, because you look it up on Google and it'll say 20 minute like tram or bus, and it'll say like 22 minute walk. So I'm like, oh, I'll just walk. Yeah, and it's more interesting to walk around here. There's mm. lots to look at. Mm. And yeah. we did get ripped off with our like public transport cards on the way um, here from the airport. We beeped on and then we beeped off and it charged us twice, so we're a bit dirty about that. Yeah. Well, we have a lot to do and we're running out of daylight. It sets in three hours.
We're in a mosque. <laughs> Giant one, big one. Yeah, we don't know how to pronounce the name of it, so we'll um, put it on the screen, but it's on the Fatih side of Istanbul, and um, it's actually rated a lot higher than the Blue Mosque for a few reasons. The um, first one is the grounds. Yeah, the, the grounds. grounds are beautiful. They're very picturesque. Lots of lawns and gardens to sit on, and um, yeah, it's and, bigger. It's yeah. bigger than it's the biggest mosque apparently in uh, Istanbul. Yeah, it's huge, and just the details of all the mosaics. Um, it's just like it looks like white marble. Mm. It's so beautiful. It's and just good because there's a whole courtyard out the front here. We'll yeah. go out in a sec, and you can just chill out there for as long chill. as you want. You can have a picnic out there. I don't know. About that, but <laughs> well, I saw people having a picnic. <laughs> It'd be awesome if you could. Um, There's heaps of rooftop bars like within like a walking distance, a one minute walk of this place, too. Yeah, um, and the views of the city that you can see from up here are amazing. We'll show yeah. you that as well. Yeah. But. I think you can go in, we're going to try to go in, um, but we're going to catch the sunset out the front here now. Mm. Yeah, really cool mosque. It's right. so beautiful. The Blue Mosque, we haven't been yet, but the Blue Mosque has a lot to catch up to yeah <laughs> live up to live up to but we don't have much sunlight left and we have to go do a lot of this stuff so yeah. we're going to do that situation going on here. Situation, weren't you? And you moved over here next to us. Poor darling, just wanted to have his nap. We're inside. Got to be a pretty respectful in here. You got to take your shoes off. Um, bring them in with you. Put them on the shoe rack, and that's it. You're not allowed to take photo or video when they're in prayer. And just, just take it in. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Islam, what is it? Islam is an Arabic word which means peaceful, willing submission to the will and way of God. It is the way of life of ordained by God, which was taught by each of his prophets and messengers such as Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus and Muhammad. The word used to refer to God in Arabic is Allah. See, I didn't know any of that. I didn't know that Muhammad was one of the prophets and that, well, I did know that 
that Allah was God, but I didn't know that Islam and Christianity was sort of tied in together. Like I didn't know that, you know, Muhammad was tied in with Noah, Abraham, Moses and Jesus. Did you? Hmm. I should mention too, on this side, on the Fatih side, it's windy and cold. It's windy and cold. I don't know why I got a feeling it's because the ocean breeze like whips around mm. and hits this side mainly, but not the other side. Yeah, like you can walk around the city all day and be hot, but then like luckily I bring my shawl because like when we get here it's freezing. <laughs> and you come over this side, yeah, and it's a lot colder, so I don't know. Pack a cardigan. <laughs> Pack a cardigan. <laughs> anyway. This is the view. This is the view that we're dealing with. So the moss. I just love the dome. He's up there. Look at those birds. Um, yeah, and this is what you're dealing with. You got all this ground down both sides. You can just chill out and look at this. I think the view of the city is better from down here a bit more. And these are the crowds that you'll be dealing with at five o'clock. Which is, seems to be a good sunset time because the sun goes behind the mosque. And this is the view of the city, all lit up from the sun. And all the domes from the mosque in front of it, it's just stunning. All the birds flying by. You can see Galata Tower. I don't know if the... I'm pretty well in... Are... This wide lens is going to do zero justice, but... Yeah. Look at it. This is what we're dealing with. This is the best. This is beautiful. I haven't seen the Blue Mosque, but like Kate said, it's got a lot to live up to. This is pretty freaking incredible. Free. Yeah. Totally free. Be respectful. Free. Though. Be respectful. We are just appreciating this sunset. We're just throwing off all of the pink. It's beautiful. That's a wrap on the mosque. Um, that's pretty much a wrap on today too. We're going to go try and find falafel kebab. Been looking for one for three days. <laughs> Um, you think it'd be easy, but it's not. Every time we try and find something, can't find it. But if we're not looking for it, there. Yep. We'll see a million of it. I think that's the philosophy on life, isn't it? Any rate, look at this sunny, beautiful day. <laughs> if you don't see us again, see maybe you in the next one. We'll see you in the next one. It's probably, likely, we're not going to find the kebab. <laughs> if you see me again, I'll have found the kebab. If okay. not, see ya next time. Bye. So take with you a thousand kisses. See what you were talking about, so I just quickly butted in. Ah. Damn it! Please hold. Technical difficulties. I want to do this again. Oh. Getting damn bangers. <laughs>